Hey y'all, welcome to March Canning Madness. This is an open collaboration hosted by Constance at Cosmopolitan Cornbread and she's inviting everybody to post their video on canning. And I am doing some Boston baked beans. I found this recipe in the Ball Blue book and it's so delicious. You've got to make it. And I am going to share with you how to do it. You do it in the oven. You cook it for about three hours, bake it with onions and some salt pork. It's delicious. I had a couple jars that didn't seal, so I've already tried them and they're amazing. Perfect for cookouts this summer. So make sure you check out this recipe. I'll have it linked below. I'll have the, I'll have the playlist link below so you can watch all the videos in the playlist. I'll have Cosmopolitan's Cornbread cha channel link down below and she's doing a big giveaway and she's giving away a, a Presto canner so I'll have that down below. So make sure you check out all the information that I'll have for you and I'll turn you around and let's get started. You've got to make these beans. All right, first thing I did, I cleaned my beans. I Put them in here and rinse them off really good and look through them and I don't see anything. So now I'm going to put them in my pot and I'm going to cover them with water. This is a pound of beans. I'm going to cover them with water and cover them at, with at least two inches of water. I'm just using bottled water. I don't like to use tap water or if you have well water, I don't know if you would use that or not, but I like to just use bottled water. So, I'm going to add two bottles. I added a little bit more of another another one. And I like to measure. I don't have a uh, I don't have a ruler, so I'm going to see. This is an inch. The stairs are an inch, so that just barely covers that. So, I need some more water. Probably probably at least three water bottles. All right covered with two inches of water. I'm going to turn my burner up to high and I'm going to let this boil for two minutes and then I'm going to take it off the heat and let it sit for an hour. Okay, it's boiled for two minutes. It doesn't say to cover it, so I'm just going to turn off the heat and let it sit for one hour. All right, they set for an hour. Now we're going to do the same exact thing. We're going to put the beans back. Where we just drained them. We're going to put them back in the same pot. Do the same thing again. We're going to add enough water to cover them by two inches. And since they, my grandson's not happy back there. Since they're puffed up, since they've soaked, you're probably going to add more water than what you did before. So I'm going to go ahead and add three water bottles and we'll see where we're at. So that is just about two inches. So. I might add just a little bit more water. Then we're gonna bring it up to a boil again. And we're going to, when it comes to a boil, we're gonna simmer this until the skins crack on the beans. And then we'll go the next step. Okay, the beans have started to split. It says starting to split. And that's when you take them out and I reserve the liquid. You're gonna need that liquid later. So I put the beans in here and then I'll add the rest of the ingredients. Okay, I've got three large onions that I sliced. It said to one fourth inches. So I just kind of cut them like this, cut them in half, and then they're in these one fourth inch cut. So it's really easy. So now I'm gonna add this to the baked beans or just to the beans. I'm adding some salt pork. It says a half a pound. This is only three fourths of a pound. So I'm just adding half of it. That way I can save it for next time. This was over six dollars so i really don't want to put a whole lot in here because i might make another batch so i'm saving that one for the next batch if it's good so i've got half of it cut up into half an inch strips and i'm going to add that to the onions and the beans all right y'all i have got two-thirds cup brown sugar two teaspoons salt two teaspoons dry mustard and two-thirds cup of molasses. I'm going to mix that up and I'm going to add four cups of the of the liquid that I had from the beans that I reserved. So I'm just going to add that in. Now we're going to mix that, all those spices together with the four cups of reserved bean liquid. <laughs> and we're going to stir this up and we are going to put the oven on 350. 
All right, I'm going to cover it with foil. We've got my oven on 350, and I am going to cover it with foil, and I'm going to leave it in there for three and a half hours. If you didn't have enough water for those four cups, you could, it, I mean, bean juice, you could use water, and I've got some left over, and it says to check on it every once in a while and add water if needed to keep the beans soupy while baking. That means you won't have a brick when you process your jars and you let them sit for a while and then you go to get them and they're gonna be just like a compressed brick. So you wanna make sure they're soupy. All right, the finished product right here. I did add just a little bit of that excess bean juice that I had and now it's ready to can. Look at it, it looks so good and it smells amazing. All right, it says to ladle the beans and the sauce in the jar and it says it makes six pints or three quarts so i'm gonna, so I'm gonna put that in the jar sorry about that one inch head space all right we are going to get all the air bubbles out with our debubbler and with the other side we're going to check our head space which is one inch perfect wrap wrap Wipe the rim and we're gonna put our lid and ring on. All right, wipe the rim of the jar, put the lid on, lid and ring, fingertip tight, put it in the canner. This will go for an hour and 20 minutes and the quartz will go in for an hour and 35 minutes. It only made four for me, and next time I will double the recipe if it's good. I can't wait to try it, but I did have some left over, so I will cook that later. But I'm gonna put the lid on here, and they're gonna go for an hour and 20 minutes. I used the ball lids, and two of mine did not seal, so I am gonna probably cook these Sunday. And, uh, but I'm going to put these in a bowl and I'm going to try them and see if they're worth making another batch. As you can see, uh, it is good. I'm telling you, I'm going to make this again. I think next time, instead of having those little pieces of pork all in it, I think I'm going to cook it the three and a half hours with the pork and then I'm going to discard it and just, and just can it like that. But this is delicious. I recommend it. You need to make this. I hope y'all make this recipe and make sure you check out Cosmopolitan Cornbread's channel down below in the description box. I'll have the link. Check out the playlist. Check out the recipe for these beans because they're so good. You're going to want to can a whole lot of these. So make sure you check out all the information down below so you can hopefully win you a Presto canner. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope y'all have a wonderful day and I'll see y'all in the next video.